WandaVision is the first of Marvel's new TV shows being released in 2021. In a trailer for WandaVision that was released, we can see that Wanda and Vision are holding two babies and it seems that we may get to see the two superheroes' children in the upcoming TV show. In the comics, Wanda and Vision have twins, which could lead to the assumption that a similar storyline may be used for the WandaVision TV show. Vision, being an advanced android, is unable to naturally have kids with Wanda. However, the two do end up having kids together through Wanda's magic and reality warping powers. At first, the couple only thought that they were having one child, but they ended up having twins named Tommy and Billy. At the time of their birth, Wanda and Vision made their way to an alternative birth center to deliver their baby. There, Doctor Strange was able to help with the delivery, though after the delivery of the first child, Doctor Strange was very confused as he noticed that there would be a second child. Until then, nothing medically or magically had indicated that there would be twins. Vision, however, was ecstatic upon learning of another child. Shortly thereafter, at the Avengers compound, Vision and Scarlet Witch were having a conversation with one another when Wanda got a feeling that someone was at the quarters where their two kids were. When she busted in the door, she found her old teacher and mentor, Agatha Harkness. Agatha was the witch that taught Wanda how to use her hex powers and help her realize her true potential with her powers and abilities. Scarlet Witch was confused to see her old teacher as she thought that Agatha had been burned at the stake. But Agatha explained that she was there for a more important matter than talking about herself. She had come to talk about the children who Wanda had created. Wanda assured her that her kids were normal, but Agatha didn't buy Wanda's claim because they would be the offspring of a mutant and a synthesoid. Agatha brought up that due to the children's unique birth, when Wanda was not thinking about her children, they disappeared and would reappear again when she next thought about them. Wanda was in denial of the news even though the same observation or complaint had been made by her previous babysitters that had witnessed the children vanishing. In the middle of their conversation outside of the Avengers compound, devilish demons began to attack the Avengers. A few of the demons even broke through the wall and made their way to Wanda and the others. As they fought them off, Master Pandemonium appeared and began to summon more and more demons to go after the twins. Master Pandemonium was a villain that the Avengers had gone up against in the past. The combined efforts of Wanda, Vision, and Agatha were enough to have Master Pandemonium call on a retreat. However, his mission was accomplished as he was able to get away with Scarlet Witch and Vision's children. Pandemonium's purpose for taking the kids was to retrieve their souls. In the past, Master Pandemonium had been in a car accident that left him in a dire life and death situation. Luckily and unluckily for Master Pandemonium, Mephisto saved his life but in the process split his soul into five different fragments and scattered them around the world for him to search out. However, this would later be revealed to be a cruel lie. A lie which would be revealed once Scarlet Witch and the Avengers were able to go after Master Pandemonium with the help of Agatha's magic. They traveled through a portal and found Master Pandemonium's lair. When they arrived, they found out that the souls of Tommy and Billy were actually pieces of Mephisto's soul rather than Master Pandemonium's and Mephisto had used Pandemonium to do the dirty work of collecting them for him. Mephisto was then able to reabsorb the part of his life essence that was within Billy and Tommy, and the two kids quickly diminished and ceased to exist. Mephisto then tried to take Wanda's soul as well, when a magical explosion occurred causing Mephisto to vanish and sending the Avengers back to their compound. There they found out that Agatha had used her powers to bring everyone back and erase the part of Wanda's mind concerning her children. Others thought that it was an inhumane thing to do to take away a mother's memory of her kids, but Agatha stated that it was the best thing for Wanda. Later on, at different points in her life, Wanda was informed that she had children at some point in the past. This started a downfall for her as she tried desperately to learn more about the truth of her children. To find out the truth for herself, Wanda went to go see Doctor Doom, who she felt could help her. Dr. Doom ended up using Scarlet Witch to do his dirty work for him as he controlled her mind and sent out Doombots to bring chaos and destruction to the Avengers mansion. This resulted in the deaths of Vision, Hawkeye, and Ant-Man. Wanda was convinced that it was the Avengers that had erased her memories of her children. Despite this blame unknown to everyone at the time of Wanda's run-in with Mephisto when the magical explosion had occurred, the souls of Billy and Tommy were again scattered throughout the world. One of those souls went to Springfield, New Jersey to William Kaplan. The other soul went to the Upper West Side of Manhattan to Thomas Shepard. William Kaplan and Thomas Shepard ended up being the reincarnated souls of Scarlet Witch's twins. William and Thomas would go on to become known as Wiccan and Speed respectively. 
The two became members of the Young Avengers and each had their own unique powers and abilities. William Kaplan, known as Wiccan, had powers similar to that of his mother, Scarlet Witch, with the ability to warp reality around him. He also has the ability to generate and discharge electricity with his hands without any spells. In addition, his powers allow him abilities such as flight, teleportation, telekinesis, and even sometimes clairvoyance. Thomas Shepard or Speed's powers are a bit more simple to explain as he has superhuman speed, which is similar to that of Pietro Maximoff, who is the twin of Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. While his speed powers act as one would expect, Thomas also has some superhuman strength, as well as slightly increased durability. During the time that Wanda was under the control of Doctor Doom, Wiccan and Speed were convinced by other members of the Young Avengers to seek out Scarlet Witch and to figure out the truth of their relationship. In their search, the Young Avengers made their way to Transia, the birthplace of Wanda. Wiccan felt Wanda's presence there and sought her out, but unfortunately what they originally thought was Wanda turned out to be a Doombot. They figured that the real Scarlet Witch must be with Doctor Doom as a prisoner. Later that night, Wiccan, unable to sleep, decided to teleport himself to Latveria to find his mother. When Wiccan arrived, he disguised himself as Scarlet Witch and was found by Doombots who returned him to her quarters. There, the real Scarlet Witch attacked Wiccan, who tried to talk to Wanda to tell her that she had been brainwashed by Doom or that she had amnesia and couldn't remember anything that had happened. Wiccan began to try to remind Wanda about who she was, he talked about how she was a member of the Avengers and that she was married to Vision, and had two kids until Master Pandemonium brought the two kids to Mephisto to reclaim their souls. Soon thereafter, the Avengers and Young Avengers showed up to save Wiccan and Wanda from Doctor Doom. The teams were able to rescue the two and escape with the help of some last second time travel. Out of nowhere, Wanda began to regain her memory of who she was and her past. Her rage began to be refueled as her memory came back and she became distraught about the passing of her two sons as she stated that she still blamed the Avengers for their deaths. She said that she wanted the Avengers to feel the pain that she had felt and to let them understand what it's like to lose that which you love. Scarlet Witch then used her reality warping powers to bring back past failures of the Avengers including Ultron robots and Kree. The Young Avengers, along with a few others including Hawkeye and Ant-Man who had returned during the time travel, were there on the scene to help stop Wanda. They understood that Scarlet Witch might be too strong to stop, but they knew that they could distract her and stop her from causing destruction. After taking out the Ultron robots, Cassie Lang used some of her stolen pin particles to bring Wiccan to Wanda who was floating in the air. Wiccan calmed Wanda down and assured her that she hadn't killed everyone she loved, and that he was her son in reincarnation. The two embraced each other as their paths had finally realigned, bringing their small family back together. As the two floated down to the ground, Billy's twin Speed was hesitant to meet his long-lost mother. He felt that his mom should pay the consequences for her actions and the harm that she had caused. This mood of hostility changed, however, when Wanda began to pour out her heart to her boys, letting them know how proud she was of them. Her two sons had sought out a path to help restore her mental well-being and became a part of something bigger than themselves along the way. Both Speed and Wiccan could be a force to be reckoned with in the future if they are brought into the MCU through the WandaVision TV show or through other means. If this comic storyline is followed in the TV show, these along with other characters like the Young Avengers or even Doctor Doom could be introduced. Let us know how you feel about this story and the upcoming WandaVision TV show in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, have a marvelous day.